Hi, my name is Bailey. Mum and I came to the Royal Children's Hospital because we had an appointment with Dr. Catherine, a respiratory specialist who knows lots about how we breathe when we sleep. I needed to see Dr. Catherine because I had a lot of trouble sleeping at night. My mum said I was always restless and snoring. Then I was grumpy and tired in the morning. We stayed in the waiting area until Dr. Catherine was ready for us. We're going to look at your sleep study results and talk about what they found. I did the study a while ago when I stayed in the hospital for one night. She said it showed I had a problem with my breathing when I go to sleep. And so what we can see is that you've got obstructive sleep apnea. And what that means is that you're having pauses in your breathing while you're asleep because there's a problem with the air going through. Oxygen is in of our air we breathe. If we don't get enough oxygen while we're sleeping, it can make us sleepy during the day. She told us about a CPAP machine. CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. And what it means for you is that you need to wear a mask during your sleep at night. After explaining all of this, Dr. Catherine rang a respiratory nurse called John. A respiratory nurse helps children learn about the special CPAP machine. We're going to look at and try on some masks and there are a few different ones. Some of the masks were little and went over my nose. Some were a little bigger and went over my nose and mouth. It was good to try them so that I could choose the most comfortable one. How does that feel? Thumbs up. This tube connects to the mask that you've chosen and the other end connects to the machine that blows the air. CPAP machine gently blows air into the mask to help your airways stay open. And you have a feel with your hand here. I put the mask on and tried the CPAP machine. So now we're going to try with the mask and the tube and turn the machine on. So it's going to blow air into the mask. Okay, you ready? Ready for takeoff? You can feel the air blowing? Concentrate on just trying to breathe normally, like you usually would. Then it was time to go, and John said I could take my mask home so that I could practice using it. I'll come back in a few weeks to have a sleepover at the hospital to use a CPAP machine with my mask. You did a really good job. Two thumbs up. For now, I will practice using the mask at home. After practicing with my mask for about four weeks, I went back to the hospital. By this time, I was really good at using it. Hi Bailey, I'm Amanda, I'll be your nurse today. This is your room. I needed to sleep at the hospital for one night so they could show me how to use a CPAP machine. Amanda, my nurse, helped me put my mask on and made sure it fit me well. Just going to plug that in and check that there's that mask still doesn't leak or anything like that. So I'm just turning on the air now. She'll be back later to tuck me in. Now I get to play some games. Just before bedtime, Amanda came back and helped me get ready to use my CPAP machine. I'm going to get you ready for bed now. You feeling sleepy? Yeah. Mum was hanging out in my room and got her own sofa bed to sleep on. While I put my mask on, Amanda put an oximeter on my big toe. It's like a little sticker and you can see a red light shining through. An oximeter measures your oxygen levels 
It sent a message to my nurse's monitor. I could see the numbers. The numbers helped Amanda check that my CPAP machine was helping my breathing. The little sticker didn't bother me and I forgot it was there during the night. Then Amanda checked my mask and turned on my CPAP machine. I could feel the air blowing gently, just like when Jordan showed me. Then it was time to go to sleep. Mum was with me the whole time. During the night, Amanda would come in to check a few things. She checked the CPAP machine, my monitor, and listened to my breathing. When I woke up in the morning, Amanda helped me take off the CPAP mask and turned off my machine. Good morning, Bailey. Hello, how are you? How is your sleep? We'll turn this off now. Good girl. Next, she needed to test a little bit of my blood. This would show how well my body had been breathing out unwanted air. Unwanted air is called carbon dioxide. We breathe in the oxygen in air and we breathe out the carbon dioxide. Amanda used a little plastic finger pricker to get a tiny drop of blood from my finger. She then pressed my finger a little so that the blood dripped into a small plastic tube. This tube is sent to the hospital medical lab to check my carbon dioxide levels. I was very hungry, so I got to eat some breakfast. Morning, Bailey. How are you this morning? Good. I hear you had a really good night's sleep last night. Time to learn how to use a CPAP machine so I could take it home. Every day, we need to give the mask a wipe out with a damp cloth. And then once a week, we need to give the mask and the tube a good wash in warm soapy water. Make sure you rinse it out afterwards, but make sure when you hang it up to dry, you don't hang it in the sun. So this is the humidification chamber. The machine warms the water so that when you're breathing in, you don't get a dry throat at night. Empty all the water out and put fresh water in. I will go back to the hospital in another four weeks to see Dr. Catherine. I must remember to bring my mask and machine with me. I'm getting better at using my CPAP every night and I'm breathing and sleeping better. Bye!